Both the electromagnetic EM log and the Doppler log are used to measure ship speed. While the EM log measures only the speed through the water, the Doppler log can measure speeds both through the water and over the ground. The EM log system is composed of a sensor known as the measuring rod, an amplifier, a speed transmitter and an indicator. The sensor is surrounded by a magnetic field and is attached to the tip of the measuring rod which protrudes from the ship's bottom into the sea. The relative movement of seawater against the magnetic field generates voltage which is measured to determine ship speed. The EM log also gives accurate speed indications at slow ahead and astern. The sensor protruding into the sea reduces the influence by the ship's wake and enables highly accurate measurement. However, the sensor is at risk of colliding with obstacles such as driftwood. Therefore, the newest EM logs are flat and the sensor does not protrude from the hull bottom. Shown here is an example of an EM log with an orthogonal bidirectional sensor. It can measure movement speeds fore and aft, port and starboard. At the tip of the device is an electrode inside of which are a coil and an amplifier that generate a magnetic field. The length of the sensor protruding from the hull bottom varies by model, but normally it's between 7 and 50 millimeters. Since the EM log is used with its sensor exposed to seawater, the hull bottom is fitted with a watertight sea valve. When changing sensors, the sea valve must be handled properly to prevent seawater ingress. Performance of the EM log measuring rod is determined by a ship's hull bottom shape and the rod's installation position. As such, the measuring rod should be adjusted to match the unique characteristics of each ship. Main adjustment items for the EM log are zero point adjustment, span adjustment and sensitivity adjustment. Zero point adjustment is conducted when the zero point of the sensor itself has changed, such as when the sensor is replaced. This adjustment is made when the ship speed is zero, that is, at anchor. Span adjustment is necessary when log speed is misreported due to fouling of the hull and so on. Sensitivity adjustment is necessary when the measured value changes due to difference in sensor sensitivity, such as when the sensor has been replaced. Remember to read operating manuals before making these adjustments. The EM log does not require daily checks, except when trouble occurs. However, when in dry dock, care must be taken to prevent damage to the sensor. Regular cleaning is necessary to remove scale and oyster shells from the sensor. The Doppler sonar speed log launches a supersonic wave into the sea and uses the reflected signal from suspended matter. 
It calculates speed by detecting the Doppler shift of the reflected signal. An ambulance exemplifies the Doppler effect. As it approaches, its siren grows in volume, but after it passes by, the siren grows weaker. The Doppler Sonar Speed Lock has two modes. One can measure speeds through the water and over the ground, the other through the water only. The EM log can only measure speeds through the water, but the Doppler Sonar Speed Log has the ability to measure speeds both through the water and over the ground by switching between the two systems. The Doppler Sonar Speed Log consists of a transducer that launches the supersonic wave, a transmitter receiver and a main display. The transducer is located in the bottom of the ship, with oscillators installed at its end. The ultrasound signal is launched in two directions, toward the bow and toward the stern. This is known as the dual beam method. This method has made it possible to significantly reduce the error margin due to hull vibration from rolling and pitching, and the error margin of the speed measurement due to trim changes. Highly accurate speed measurement in rough seas has been achieved. Recently, it's become possible to make the transducer small enough to fit in the bow, where it's less susceptible to the effects of bubbles in the seawater. The main body is composed of the display unit and the operational unit, which switches the display and conducts various measurements. The cursor pad or trackball in the operational unit is used to select the menu. The menu button is used to open the main menu and to halt an operation. Speed through the water is the ship's speed relative to the seawater within 3 meters of the hull bottom. Ground speed can be measured up to a depth of about 200 meters. Note that speed can be measured to an accuracy of 0.1 knots if there is at least one meter clearance above the seabed. Because the measured speed is highly accurate, it's effective for speed control when berthing or for making a decision on the timing of anchoring. Due to its nature, however, Doppler sonar speed log accuracy is susceptible to waves during rough weather and bubbles generated when the ship goes astern. Moreover, speed error can be caused by noise interference, etc. Precautions to be taken when in dry dock include turning off the power supply, ensuring the transducer is not lowered onto the docking keel blocks, Removing crustaceans, etc., adhering to the surface of the transducer. Ensuring that the surface of the transducer is not painted.